Our first speaker today is Rand Paul. Rand, of course, is running for the United States Senate on the Republican side. He'd like to say a few words to you. There's a fella in the White House who says you're clinging to your religion and your guns. You bet! How many of you are clinging to your religion and your guns? I think our secret weapon, once we get through the primary, is let any Democrat bring our president down here to campaign for him because that will guarantee our victory. I'm not armed today, but I feel pretty safe. I feel like I've got a private security detail out there. Yeah. Had we had one armed pilot, we might not have had 9-11. That's right. Yeah. Had we had one armed teacher or student at Virginia Tech, we might not have had a massacre. That's right. Guns are a great defense. One of the things that is not reported enough is that we have the lowest home invasion in the world. You know why? Nobody knows or the criminals don't know which of you have guns behind your door and which don't. And so those of you who do own guns also protect those who don't because the criminals don't know who does and who doesn't. It is a great protection for us. I'm a lifetime member of the NRA and a proud member of the Gun Owners of America. Yeah. We've been endorsed in our campaign by the Gun Owners of America. I'm a big promoter of the Firearms Freedom Act. The Firearms Freedom Act says we challenge the federal government. We, could, we want to make a gun entirely in Kentucky or Montana or Tennessee, all the parts and the ammunition coming from within the state, and we tell the federal government in a legal way, we challenge them to say, federal law should have nothing to do with the manufacture or the selling of this gun because it's not across interstate lines. Right. 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 I'm in favor of this, not just because of the aspects of the guns, I'm in favor of it because big government has been driven through the Commerce Clause. All big government's coming from the Commerce Clause. When they asked Nancy Pelosi, where do you get the justification for this health care takeover? At first she looks a little confused, then her eyes get big like a deer in the headlights, and then she finally says, the Commerce Clause. Big government for 60 years has been driven through the Commerce Clause. That's why the Firearms Freedom Act is not just about guns, it's about state control, people control, the 10th Amendment, the 9th Amendment, and that the federal government, if the power was not given to the federal government, that power is left in the hands of the people and the states respectively. There's a movement going on in this country and it's huge. It's the Second Amendment movement, it's the 912 movement. It's the Tea Party movement. Yeah. It's a movement of people who say we've come to take our government back. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. We need to limit their terms. We need to sweep them out of Washington and bring them home. Yeah. We need to have some rules. They passed a rule three weeks ago or a month ago now saying pay as you go and they've immediately broken it twice. We're out of money, they're bankrupting us, and it's not just our kids and our grandkids. Your jobs right now are being destroyed by an overreaching, overzealous government that is spending us into oblivion. The government's spending money at $53,000 a second. It's out of control, and we need to be in the streets in a peaceful fashion but in a vocal fashion saying, we've come to take our government back. That's right. That's right. I will not vote for any federal regulation of firearms. I don't think the federal government should be involved at all. Yeah. Yeah. 
Sometimes people say, oh, I hear you for the Second Amendment, but are you really? And I say, well, last week I was shooting at Knob Creek, and last year I gave a speech at Knob Creek. Usually that's about enough and about all I have to say. Campaigning is not always fun, but I will tell you yesterday afternoon, or yesterday I worked in the morning, and yesterday afternoon we had a skeet shoot down at Rock Castle Gun Club, which is near Park Mammoth. And if you haven't been down there, it's a great place. It's got all kinds of automated clay pigeons being thrown up. And then I was there with a judge from Somerset, uh, who is also a big supporter, ex-Marine, and he let me uh, shoot his AR-15, and his wife also let me shoot hers as well. So not only do I walk the walk, I shoot the shoot. And I'm glad to have been invited today. I'm a big defender of the Second Amendment. If I'm elected, I will not waver in that, and I appreciate your support very much. Thank you. Right.